How you doing guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV and today we're going to be talking about a game that's in development uh, that's not too well known out there. It's a game called Infinite Decimals and, and what's really cool is I came across a NASA article as uh, I was thinking about how I'm going to make a video for this game and the NASA article exactly fits what this game is about. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the article here just real fast and then we'll get into talking about the game. The article is from a NASA scientist who poses the uh, possibility that we may have been visited by aliens before and also uh, changes the, the tries to change the mind of how we look for life because uh, we think of, you know, we keep looking for planets in a Goldilocks zone, life just like us. But have we noticed, you know, recent years, we found that down in the ocean where life should not exist near boiling vents, uh, there's life. There is absolutely life and we're places that uh, we didn't think life could possibly flourish and it does. Uh, so he poses a question, uh, just going to read a quick excerpt from this saying, According to Columbano, to advance the search for extraterrestrial life, scientists must revisit our most cherished assumptions and consider the idea of different characteristics as well as the possibility that interstellar travel is already feasible for extraterrestrials. The size of the explorer might be that of an extremely tiny super intelligent entity, he hypothesized. We adopt a new set of assumptions about what forms of higher intelligence and technology we might find. Some of those phenomena might fit specific hypotheses and we could start some serious inquiry. So he's uh, kind of saying, hey, you know what? Maybe uh, an alien life form is microscopic. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why, why wouldn't it be? Uh, and that brings us to our game that we're going to be talking today that you've been seeing uh, a few clips of already called Infinite Tessimals, which I'm going to go ahead real quick and play an explanation video on what this is. Cupid Studios is a two-man indie development team. Our project is a third-person sci-fi adventure called Infinite Tessimals. The player takes control of tiny aliens in the wilderness of planet Earth. You can explore scientifically accurate macro-scale environments. Infinitesimals features a fully custom, procedural and physically simulated animation system, built from the ground up within Unreal Engine. It allows for our simulated vehicles to respond accurately to any forces acting upon it. It also enriches the player's control options and presents many gameplay mechanic opportunities. The animation system will power all of the game's machines, but will also be used for the creatures roaming the world. The player's primary means of transport is a six-limbed modular mechanized vehicle. A range of customization options will be available. This is an enemy hunter-gatherer machine. They will be very dangerous. It wants to squish your face. The simulation aspects are not limited to motion. All vehicles depend upon components to function. A smart player will try and avoid catastrophic facial structure compression by rapidly disassembling enemy machines. By keeping brain containment intact, you significantly increase your chance of being selected for participation in a species propagation scheme. What fun that would be! Okay, so there you have it. You are a you, you're this little teeny tiny alien from outer space, and you're there for some sort of like population species species population program. And uh, the 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 graphics on this game are absolutely amazing. This is being developed by two guys. For the longest time, it was just one guy. Now it's two of them, and the graphics are like triple A quality. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. The animations are. Uh, 
just out of this world. Uh, the walking animations of the uh, the space uh, the craft that you uh, use that has those stringy legs and stuff. Those are all procedurally animated and procedurally generated. Uh, so what that means is it kind of looks ahead and, and sees, okay, there's a rock. So this procedural animation is going to, you know, step on the rock instead of just, you know, uh, go through the rock or uh, step, you know, over it. Well, it probably would step over it if it didn't need to step on it. But you, you know what I mean. Uh, the game is truly, truly amazing. Um, I've reached out to the developers and they have agreed to do an interview with uh, Cobra TV and uh, so I'll keep you guys updated on that but let me know down below guys what do you think of infinitesimals it looks absolutely amazing and going through the YouTube channel most of his clips that he's uploading they're usually like 30 seconds to 50 seconds long some of them are a little bit over a minute but uh, I started down at the bottom and I started downloading some of these clips to put in the background footage and what was really amazing is going through each one like well, wow that looks absolutely cool and then as you get up higher uh, over the years of him developing, you see that same thing that he was trying to do and you thought it was cool and it looks so much cooler. And so some of this footage you're seeing is old and some of it's uh, pretty current. Um, but they are serious about this game. He's been working on it for a long time. You've got you've got uh, giant flies that you can actually get onto the back and fly the fly around. And it looks absolutely amazing, guys. And then there's uh, this drop ship that you can fly that kind of mimics like uh, wings of like a dragonfly. Oh my gosh, it's so cool, guys. Uh, but let me know down below what you think of Infinitesimals. I'm also going to link the YouTube channel so that way you could guys go over and have the same experience I had when I was going through through the uh, the clips and it's really cool to go all the way down and work your way back up to current uh, that's when it's that's when you had that's when I had a really really cool experience um, so infinite decimals guys uh, let me know what you think down below about this project and uh, we'll have these guys on the show here shortly as always I love you guys I will see you all in the next video until next time